Hi, this video is on how to do binomial distribution problems using the TI-84 calculator. Um, let's get right into it. So on the TI-84, um, there are two settings for binomial distribution. You have the binomial PDF, which is when you're talking about an exact number for X, an exact number for the event that you want. Uh, in other words, X equals, X equals a number. Um, then there's a binomial CDF, and it looks very similar, PDF and CDF. PDF is for equals, and CDF is only for less than or equals. Very similar to the uh, tables that you've used binomial CDF for. So CDF is used only when X is less than or equal to. PDF is used when X equals. So if you have a X is greater than um, or greater than or equal to, you have to do something else, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, so to get to both of these, let's take a look at the calculator really quick. So we're going to hit the second button and VARS, which is the distribution. And then we scroll all the way down to A and B. A is the PDF where the event equals a specific number. And B is CDF. That's where X is less than or equal to a specific number. So PDF, once again, is equals. Uh, and CDF is less than or equal to. Once again, how to get there, you go to second VARS, and you scroll all the way down to letters A and B. Letters A and B. There's letters A and B. All right. So let's take a look. at these problems. Find the probability that exactly five uh, have eaten pizza for breakfast. So the, the problem is 75% of all adults have eaten pizza for breakfast. So 75%. That's the probability, right, of people eating pizza. The probability is 75%, which is 0.75. If a random sample of nine adults are selected, so our total sample size, N equals nine. Our probability is 75% that we've eaten pizza for breakfast and our sample size is N. Find the probability that exactly five, in other words, X equals exactly five, have eaten pizza for breakfast. So there's nine in our sample size. There are five people that we're talking about exactly five, and we have a probability of 0.75. So we're going to go to binomial. Which one? If we go back one, binomial, exactly, we're doing equals. So we're going to binomial PDF on our calculator. Binomial PDF on our calculator, which was the A. So... From here, I'm going to go to our calculator, and we're going to type in 75%, N is 9, and X is 5. All right, so to get to that, once again, to get the binomial PDF, we're going to go to second VARS, and I'm just trying to get the focus to work.
Any day now. There we go. Second Vars scroll. Well, let me show you that again. Second Vars scroll all the way down. And since we're doing equals, we're going to A. So the number of trials, there were nine trials. The probability was 0.75. And the number of people, we said exactly five. If you hit enter, and when it goes to paste, you're going to hit enter, and you'll see the setup, nine, uh, 0.75 and five. This is if you have the old version, you'll just type it in like this. You'll type in <coughs> N equals nine, P equals 0.75, and X equals five uh, separated by a comma. And when we get our answer, uh, if I take it to three decimal places, it's 0.117. So the answer to this is the probability uh, when X equals five on my calculator says 0.117 if I round it to three decimal places. That's when X equals five, we're taking it to binome PDF. And you have to set it up for N, P, and X. Once again, on the old version of calculators, you just type it in like this. On the newer versions of the TI-84, it tells you the trials, probability, and then the X value. All right, so let's go to the next problem. Find the probability that, uh, it's same problem, 75% of adults have eaten pizza for breakfast. If we have a random sample of nine people, there are nine people in our sample. Our probability is 75%. Find the probability that seven or less have eaten pizza. So if you look at nine people, you can have zero people eat pizza. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine people have eaten pizza. We want to know the probability of seven that seven or less, these people right here have eaten pizza. Another way of writing seven or less is X is less than or equal to seven, right? Less than or equal, these are all less than seven and this one is equal to seven. So another way of writing that seven or less is X is less than or equal to seven. So. We're not doing an equals, we're doing a less than or equals. And if I go back to slides, less than or equal to, anytime you have less than or equal to, you have to go to CDF. You have to go to CDF. So we're going to type in X is 5 for CDF, binomial CDF. Uh, N is 9 and our P is 0.75. So let's put those in our calculator. Second VARS, scroll all the way down. It's not going to be A, it's going to be B. CDF, CDF is X is less than or equal to the number of trials. Once again, there are nine uh, people uh, in, the, in the survey or in the, in the sample. Probability is 0.75 that they eat pizza. And the, the X value is less than or equal to seven. When we, do, we put a seven here in CDF, it's X is less than or equal to seven. If this was PDF, that would be X equals seven. So less than or equal to, you have to do CDF. And when you hit enter, 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 you get 0.699 rounded to three decimal places is 0 0.700. So the probability, oh, we're on the wrong slide. Here we go. So the probability that X is less than or equal to a seven equals 0 0.700. Zero zero. All right. So we want done one equal and one less than. Let's see what else we have. Same problem. P 
is 0.75 probability is 0.75 there are nine people in our sample n is nine find the pr probability that less than five people have eaten breakfast so once again zero one two three four five six seven eight or nine people have eaten pizza early in the morning these are all the possibilities uh for a sample of nine and of uh, for people eating pizza we want to do less than five. So let's underline all the numbers less than five. Five is not less than five. So we're only looking at four, three, two, one, or zero. Do you see? The other problem that we had said less than or equal to. Less than uh, that seven or less. So seven was an equal part. Here, we're not doing equal to five, it's less than five. So the way to, another way of writing less than five is X is less than or equal to four because five is not included. So even though it says less than five, you have to put four into your calculator because you're only less than five is four, three, two, one, or zero. So we're putting nine in our calculator, 0.75, and four, that'll give us X is less than five. The probability that X is less than five. So I'm gonna put four in the calculator. All right, so we're gonna to go to second VARS. We're gonna scroll down to CDF, less than or equal to. Uh, number of trials is 9, probability is 0.75, and we're doing less than 5. Remember, we have to put 4 into here because 5 wasn't part of the answer because it has to be less than 5, and my answer is 0 0.0489, which rounded to three decimal places is 0 0.049. I'm just rounding it three decimal places, no particular reason. So 0 0.049, this probability equals 0 .0 0 0.049. The probability that you're less than five is the same thing as less than or equal to four. And the answer is 0 0.049. So here's the last one. It's a little bit harder, <laughs> but it's the same thing. The probability is 75%. Uh, N is still nine. Find the probability that more than six have eaten pizza. So once again, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Up to nine people can eat pizza because we're doing a sample of nine. So the probability that more than six, more than six, these are the numbers that are more than six. And one way of writing this is X is greater than six. You can also say X is greater than or equal to seven, right? Either one of these is correct. Greater than six doesn't mean six, it means seven, eight, or nine greater than or equal to seven means seven, eight, or nine. Both of these uh, are greater. However, on our calculator, we don't have a greater than um, binomial distribution. We only have less than or equal to or equals. We don't have a greater than. We only have X is less than or equal to. So we have to figure something out here. Um, what we can do is look at these. These are the opposite of what we're looking. We're, we're trying to figure out what seven, eight, or nine is. Would you agree that if we look at all the probabilities, it equals 100%. So let me find the probability of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. In other words, X is less than or equal to six. So I want to find the probability that X is less than or equal to six. Once I find this probability, I can just take one minus that probability. One minus the probability that X is less than or equal to six would equal this probability. So do you see would equal this probability? 
one minus this part, one minus the blue, would equal the seven, eight, and nine. <coughs> so on my calculator, I'm going to type in one minus the probability of six. For CDF, I'm going to put a 6 because there's an equal sign in it, less than or equal to. Uh, don't forget, N is 9 and P is 0.75. We're going to do 1 minus this. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 1 minus second VARS going all the way down to B. CDF. 9 was the sample size, 0.75, and we're putting a 6 in here. X is less than or equal to 6. 1 minus 6 and less will give us the answer to 7, 8, and 9. So I already did the 1 minus in here, and my answer is 0 0.6006, so it rounds to 0 0.601. So this answer equals 0 0.601, this probability. This is the same thing as either one of these. The probability that X is less than 6, the probability that X is greater than, I mean, greater than 6, greater than or equal to 7, or 1 minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 6. And this is the one that we were able to do on our calculator, and we got 0 0.601. I hope this video helped. Uh, let me know, um, and have a uh, good time with your binomial distributions.